So, Alan Moore, he's more famously known for his writing on comic books from the likes of The Watchmen and The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, the course itself, so Alan Moore's storytelling course, um, it sort of breaks down different pieces of writing advice across his career. So from learning structure to better understanding what it takes to be uh, a writer itself, so breaking down reading more, reading better, uh, comparing different writing approaches from different authors and all of this in aid to grow yourself as a writer. Uh, now, to, before we get like into the crops of the video and sort of my key takeaways from this, I just wanted to start with a bit of a who, who this is for and if it's probably relevant for you. So I would say primarily this is going to be aimed more towards that. If you're just beginning your writing journey, if you're a writer or you're an aspiring writer and you're in those early stages, maybe where you've started writing a few articles, maybe a short story, and maybe you've already written your first novel, uh, I believe this is more for you. But before that, I would say maybe just look into some other free alternatives. Because again, this comes down to you yourself, the budget you have, the sort of stage you're at, at in this and how much you're willing to actually put forward in order to grow as a writer. Now, I think there's a lot of great free resources already out there from the likes of hundreds, if not thousands of YouTube videos. You've got your public library. So you've got hundreds, if not thousands, upon thousands and thousands of books that can help you grow as a writer. And then the actual act of writing yourself, so it's taking the time and then learning as you go. Um, I'm gonna leave a few of my favorite um, writing related, I'd say, advice, YouTube channels and videos in the description below. So I'd say, you know, if you're maybe on the fence, you're not really looking to pay, because I, I believe when I had first bought this course, it was 80 pounds, usually on sale. I've seen it on sale about two or three times since I bought it. Um, so if it is something that maybe feels a bit pricey for you, feel free to watch the rest of the video. I'm just going into some of at least the top takeaways I've got from this course. Um, but if you're just not looking to spend the money or you just don't have that resource available at the minute, I would highly recommend checking out some of the channels I've listed below. They're fantastic resources, whether you're an aspiring writer or starting out, or even if you've been writing for years and years, I still think there's a lot you can learn from others. And those resources, especially the YouTube channels below, are a great place to start. The most important thing, the most important tool for any writer to possess is going to be the writer herself. You are your own most important instrument and so you will have to tune that instrument if you want to be um, a successful or a, a, a satisfying writer. So let's get started with uh, one of the main takeaways for me is just around the section where he talks about sort of becoming a writer. And although it might seem a bit of a cliche one because there's no real key knowledgeable takeaways as such, nothing that maybe you can apply to your writing exactly. But for me, I found that this section alone was more motivational and aspiring. So just to understand that it's not just a quick thing, that this is a long journey, it takes time. And just for me, it motivated me a lot more to write just from this one section alone. So for me, it, it, it was just a great part of the course. And, probably one of the reasons why I can easily recommend it because yes it's great to get some key lessons to learn to develop but sometimes maybe if you're in a slump or you're procrastinating a lot he talked about this in the course itself but I know I've been in positions where I'll make up plenty of excuses you know I'm in a full-time job I'm a father I, getting the time each day to sit down and write, especially when it's usually at the end of that day, I'm usually quite tired and I'll make up so many excuses instead of actually just sitting down, starting writing. And usually when I start, it's fine. I just sort of get into a flow, it's easy. So that's another thing he just talked about and said, instead of just putting it off to just sit on, I think he specifically said, get up on your arse and start writing. So sit down in the chair and write. And for me, that's one of like the key takeaways I've got from the course itself. 
That, of course, begs the question of how to read. Now, if you are hoping to become a writer, or if you are a writer, that will change your reading experience possibly forever in a number of ways. In some ways, perhaps it won't be as satisfying because you will never be able to completely immerse yourself in a story or a piece of text in the way that you once did because you will have part of your mind continually looking at the text to try and find out how the writer achieved their effects. Analyzing different types of content, so that could be from books, TV shows, films. It's just trying to you maybe use the existing works already out there from great writers, trying to understand like how they're structuring their books, um, trying to figure out why it is you're actually like it, why are you engaged in this book, or even on the other flip side. Why is this something I'm not interested in? Maybe you can pick apart those things and start applying it to your own work. And then that can even go across other mediums. So say for example, maybe you're watching a film. Uh, one thing I've started doing, and I might even make a detailed video on this in the future, is just look, watching a film, trying to analyze maybe even the first five or 10 minutes and trying to understand how they're like hooking people in. And this can be useful both as a writer, even if you're like in a marketing career, I think there's insights you can take from that in terms of how they can like hook people in, how they're like sort of laying out, setting the story, introducing you maybe to the key characters, your sort of villains within the story and things like that. So it's more just changing the approach because I know in the past when maybe I'd, I'd either read or watched a film, I was more just consuming it, relaxing. Whereas now I, I feel like a switch has changed in my mind and I'm actually analyzing it, trying to understand how they've structured it why I'm actually enjoying it. I'm, I'm just trying to piece it together, take notes, and then try to apply what I've learned into my own work, whether it's through videos or through writing itself. And I think that's just phenomenal. I think that in itself, there was a, a whole section he covered on this, but yeah, it was one of those main ones that I'd taken away uh, from the course itself. And then one of the next ones, uh, which was, I think about like halfway through or so the course when he starts talking about the structure. When he started talking about it, he s sort of introduced how like short stories can be actually like a phenomenally great place for new writers to start or even writers to start. In a short story, you will have to do all of the things that you will eventually have to do when you're attempting your first novel, but you're doing them in miniature. You will have to introduce your characters. You will have to introduce the dramatic situation. You will have to resolve that dramatic situation one way or another. But you will be doing it in a much more restrained number of pages. So basically, the short story is an excellent way to begin your writing career. Because ultimately, they still have the same structure as like your full length novel. You'll still come across the same problems. You'll still have to build your world, introduce your characters. That story is still going to need to be there, but just in a more confined sort of environment because it's going to be obviously a lot shorter than a full-length novel. Now, this is something I'm still experimenting with and something I'm trying to apply over the next couple of months of just writing down probably shorter form stories instead of jumping the gun, trying to create a full-length novel when I've got like so many drafts, so many that are half finished, and I get to a point where I'm just either exhausted or I feel like it doesn't make any sense anymore. So I think when he talks about structure and then sort of applying that, that to like short stories, I thought was quite interesting and is currently something I'm doing. So that's why I've sort of taken these main takeaways from is, is it something that's affected me now? Is it something I'm trying to apply now? And this is definitely one. He then goes on, he does speak about the three act structure. Um, so your start, your middle, your end. And then also how you can maybe, when you start to understand structure a bit more, maybe how you can like mold and adapt it. So almost like flipping elements of it round. Cause you've probably seen it before in a couple films. Like one that springs to mind is, I oh, hope I get this right. I think it's Mission Impossible 3. So it starts at the end of the film. So it shows one of the end scenes of the film. 
and then the rest is just building up to how we got to that end point. So it's taking almost a three act structure but flipping it on its head all the way around. So I think once you start to understand different story structures, I think you can start maybe experimenting and playing with it. But at least at this stage for me, I'm just trying to understand it a bit more, apply it to my own work before I maybe start taking bits of it and spinning it around and adapting it. But again, I found that really interesting when he was just going over that section. Now, to be honest, there's so much more in this course um, that I've taken from it that I could maybe go into more detail, but I just want to focus on some of the main things, at least the things I'm applying to my writing at this stage. Um, and it is something, well, it is going to be, sorry, a course that I'm definitely going to be going back to probably later again this year. I'll probably not go through it linearly, so like start to finish, because it's a lot of video content and you do get a PDF workbook with it. Um, but to be honest, I think it's one I'm going to just sit down, go through pieces, try to apply that again. And I do think, it, ultimately, it's is it something I recommend? Well, I would say yes. It's more so if you're in that intermediary stage, so you feel like maybe, okay, I want to become a writer. You've maybe just started off, you're maybe a few months or maybe even a year into your journey, and you're just trying to develop and learn more, I think it is worthwhile. But on the flip side, I think there's, it, it, it comes down to you as yourself, like, do you have that resource available? Because for some people, oh, it might be too much money, and it also, it might not bring value to you like it did for me. So I would always say there's so many great free resources out there, like I mentioned. So definitely look in the description box, I've listed, only a couple of some of the recent YouTube channels that I've been watching again and again over the last year. And the likes of you can head down to your local library, get some books there for completely free. So there's, there's so many resources that won't cost you anything. It, I think this is especially more useful when you're starting out because for at least in my point of view, there's no real worth in spending money and money and doing all these courses and you know, spending maybe hundreds and hundreds of books, if this is something that maybe you're not interested in, or if you get like six months down the line and you just don't have the motivation to write, you, it is something you don't enjoy. Because ultimately, this is going to be an incredibly long journey, like with most crafts out there. And if you're not enjoying it as you're going through it, as you're learning, then ultimately it might not be something for you and and you might need to look into other areas. So that way I wouldn't put like that financial push into it so early. If you're just sort of trying to figure it out, especially when there's already great free content out there. So to be honest, I've really enjoyed the course. It's definitely something I'm going back to again. And ultimately it's, it's not like a traditional, he does say it in the beginning, it's not really like a traditional writing course. He's, He's definitely a, a unique and interesting person and I found that it was just as enjoyable to watch as it was to take some of those key insights from it. I've got plenty of book recommendations throughout the course, a couple that I've picked up recently I'm going to be starting. So yeah, I think when I go back to it again later in the year, probably at the tail end of the year, start of next year, it's definitely something I'll probably put together, maybe a more detailed video around, but ultimately if you do have the resource available for it, if you're maybe in that intermediary stage and you've already looked through a lot of these free resources and you're maybe looking for a little bit more and you're wanting to learn more, I would say it's worth it. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. Uh, if you've already uh, taken the course, just let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.